This is a launch of an American spy satellite, supposedly an infrared early warning detection system satellite, giving them protection from missiles being launched. We'll watch the launch quickly and I'll come back. Three, Atlas ignition, two, one, and liftoff. Liftoff, the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket with the fifth space-based infrared system satellite for the United States Space Force. Save a bit of time, I'll forward it a bit now. Jettison. This first burn of today's mission will last approximately 10 minutes, 30 seconds. All 10 engine operating parameters look good. Body rates have damped out nicely from the startup transients. And then we get this image showing an image of the supposed satellite, which is going to be an early detection, early warning detection system for missiles. Again, I'm just going to forward it. It gives us a little bit of spec regarding this satellite at the end here. More than 1,000 missiles launch each year. Our nation is protected by the overhead persistent infrared system, okay? Which is a space-based infrared system, apparently, with these satellites. Now, that got me thinking, because obviously I know there's no tin cans flying around a ball. So I thought, hmm, okay. They're citing this as an infrared early warning missile detect detection system from space. I wonder, got me thinking, I wonder, has the U-2 spy plane had any infrared upgrades recently? That, of course, this story would be a cover for, because I know the U-2 spy plane is the real satellite spy satellite the US government use as we've seen previously with the multiple different modular, modular payloads they can use they do all the jobs of satellites and more so I thought I wonder is has the U2 had a new upgrade infrared or anything similar like that that might suggest that that is the reason we're getting this firework launched and the story attached to it is a cover story for the new upgrade the U-2 spy planes had. So let's have a look. Has the U-2 spy plane had a new upgrade, I wonder? U-2 spy plane fleet gets new high-powered camera. Who would have thought? The US Air Force fleet of Lockheed Martin U-2 Dragon Lady spy planes recently have completed flight testing and installation of the Collins Senior Year Electro-Optical Reconnaissance System. The electrical, optical and infrared camera is to provide more precise, long-range tracking of stationary or moving targets in a wider range of weather conditions. Of course, the moving targets could be planes or missiles. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up how easy this is. The timelines give it away. So we've got a rockets going up supposedly giving the United States a defense system from rockets, uh, from missiles. But strangely enough, the U-2 spy plane, which of course we all know is the real U uh, American spy satellite, has just had an upgrade where it's got the exact same system albeit a slightly different coded name, upgraded to all its planes. It's obvious the rockets taken off are simply a firework display. All the nitty gritty and the data is either being done by balloons or planes. The U-2 is so valuable to the American military and NASA. That's why it's one of the oldest planes still in service because it's that valuable, it's part of a lie that is crumbling and falling to bits. Even their own satellite launches now of supposedly space-based tech are giving the game away when we compare to the supposed or the upgrades the U2's getting. It turns out it would seem the rocket launch is just a cover story for the upgrades for the U2 spy plane. Ah oh dear.